What is up digital creators? In this video, I'm going to show you how you can integrate your Web Studio website to just about any other platform on the web. To do so, we are going to use a workflow system called N8N. Now for the example today, I'll be using a form that we have set up that we use to collect leads for our sales team. And once the data gets submitted, it should then flow to Superbase to store and filter those records then run through an if flow. And if the lead meets our requirements, they are then sent to our sales channel on Slack, for our sales team to then be able to follow up the lead. To get started, create or log in to your N8N account and select credentials. From there, you want to add the credentials to all of the steps in your workflow. For our use case today, we need to connect to our Superbase account, which stores our records, and then also connect to a Slack bot which will send that data to the right Slack channel. Once you've got your base credentials set up, we can begin creating the workflow. Jump into the workflows tab on N8N, click the add new workflow button. And as a first step, we're going to set up a trigger on webhook call. For the webhook configuration, we are going to go with no authentication, although you could use it if you wanted to add an additional layer of security. For the HTTP method, we are going to use post and we're going to leave the rest of the settings as default. From there, we're going to copy our test URL and jump back into our Web Studio Builder. Once you're in your builder, go ahead and select your form instance. You can do so from the navigator. And we want to be adding two properties to our form today. The first is the method property and the second is an action property. With the two properties created, we're then going to paste in the webhook URL into our action field. This was the URL that we copied for the test setup on N8N. And for the method, we're simply going to type in post. Once you've got your form action set up, you also need to make sure you've configured the naming on each of your form fields. You can see I have five types of fields here. I'm just going to select each one and name them. So for my name field under name, I just have name. My email field contains email for the name. My requirements field, obviously requirements and each of my budget radios have their budget set up in their name field. With your base form configured, go ahead and publish your website and we will create our first test submission for N8N. Okay, with the website published, we're gonna jump over to the front end of the site. I'm simply going to fill in some basic data for each of the fields and click on submit. From there, if we jump back over to N8N, you'll see it has received the test submission data for this project of this window and I'm gonna add my next action. So this one was to Superbase. From here, I want to create a row. I'm gonna select my account, select the table and start mapping the data that I want to send. So I'm going to define it for each column. The way I'll do this is add a new field, select the column on Superbase. So I've got my name string here and then pull in from the test webhook data, the relevant strings. So name goes into name. I'm gonna then select email. Same thing, email goes into email. And I'm repeating this action for all of the fields in my form. Once you've finished mapping the fields, you can then exit the pop-up. Okay, so my lead data is now flowing in to Superbase. I also want that data to flow into Slack, but I only want it to flow into Slack if the lead is of a certain value. To do this, I'm going to add a new action this time I'm going to select a flow action. I'll be using the if flow action. And essentially I want to tell it if it is any option above the 10K budget, send it to Slack and our sales team. So I'm gonna switch my input back to my initial form a webhook. And for the condition, I'm just going to choose a string condition and tell it if the value from this field is on, which is my under 10K budget, then don't send it to Slack. So let's test this node. You can see it's been successful. It's figured out, yes, for that lead, it is true. It is under $10,000. I'm gonna exit out of this page now, and I'm going to add an option under the false, right? The last step was, yes, they are under $10,000. So if it is false and they are not under $10,000, I want to send them to Slack. So again, click the plus action button, choose an action in an app. I'm going to select Slack and I want it to simply send a message into my sales channel. So on my Slack pop-up, I can choose my Slack account. I want it to be a message. I want it to be sent. Where do I want that message to be sent? To a channel. Which channel? 
I want it to be my sales channel. What do I want to include in the message? Just a simple text and I'll be pulling in the different fields from our form. So going back to our initial form data, we can see I have my name, email requirements, budget. I'm just gonna put in here my name and then I will drag in the name data, my email, and again, drag in the email data and essentially repeat these steps for any fields you have in your form. All right, I have my Slack message mapped out. I'm again going to close this pop-up. From here, we want to run a quick test on N8N to make sure that all the data flows through each of the channels correctly. Simply click on execute workflow. It's going to wait for another trigger event. So we're going to go back to our homepage, submit a new form. Again, I'll just fill in some dummy data. With my form populated, I will click submit. I'll then jump back to N8N and you can see each of the steps have been now marked green. Final step in this setup is to map your original webhook URL from the test one, which is what we've been using to set up the environment to the live one. Simply select your webhook, switch from the test URL to the production URL, copy, jump back into your Web Studio form and switch out your form action URL for the new one that we have just copied. Again, publish your website one last time. We're going to do one last test together and then preview that data in each of the platforms. All right, my form has now been updated. I'm gonna jump back to the front end of my website, quickly give it a refresh and submit a final test. So let's go, this is test name. So we know that it goes in the name field, test at email. Again, so we know it's in the email field, test requirements. So we know it goes into the requirement field. And this time I want to test the budget over 10K because I want to make sure it also sends the data to Slack. I'm going to hit submit. I'm now going to jump over to Superbase, which was our first step. And you can see it has received the data from our website. And opening up Slack, if we have a look at our sales channel here, we can see that we have also received that new lead into our Slack channel. If we were to test this one more time without the budget requirement, should also go into Superbase, but not be sent to Slack. So let's test that out together. Again, I'll just put in my details this time for the form, but for the budget, I will choose under 10K. If I go ahead, check back Superbase, you can see my new record has been generated, but if I check Slack, it has not been added to the Slack channel because they did not meet that if requirement, which was the budget being higher. And that is how you can integrate Web Studio website with just about any other platform on the web. N8N is a really easy to use no code automation platform that fits in perfectly with your Web Studio stack and can help you streamline and automate a lot of the simple tasks. That's pretty much it for this video. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments down below or if there's anything you'd like to see in a future video. Appreciate your time and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.